Dea's Steady Rolling Man is one of, if not the best known UK hazy pale. And as we proved recently in our core beer showdown, it's also a damn good beer. Oh yeah. But what are Dea playing at? Because recently they've taken Steady Rolling Man and they've dumped an additional hop in it called Strata. And they've called it Steady Rolling Strata. So we've decided to take a couple of cans of each, put them up against each other. We're gonna look at what Strata is and what it brings to the party. Join us as we go into the stratosphere. Oh. Okay then, so here we go. Now, quite looking forward to this, Paul, because as we proved the other day, that's a very good beer. Yeah, we it's loved it. Great beer. But this this kind of feeds into a feature that I've kind of wanted to do for some time, a bit more educational, kind of highlighting different aspects about beer, a bit more informational because sometimes we don't do much of that. Mm -hmm. We just do our antics. Yeah. So we thought we'd talk about specific hops. Yeah. So, so hops in focus almost. Yeah. yeah, hops in focus. And we can get our opinions in <laughs> you let's delve in let's pull i'm thirsty uh, yeah, yeah. We've, we've already we've already drunk let's one, do this let's so while i'm pouring what do we know about steady rolling man as a beer so steady rolling man is Daya's flagship beer so Daya are a brewery in cheltenham i think they were started in about 2015 2015 yeah as with a lot of craft breweries what they tend to do is <laughs> they fall in love with American beer, then they try and replicate it. And that's pretty much what this is. So Northern Monk did it with Faith. This is Dea's version. This is like their, their jam. What we can be expecting here is a very soft beer, very sessionable, although it is 5.2%, but it's jam packed full of hops. What hops are in it actually? Um, yeah, I don't think it says on the can. Uh, I did. Oh yes, this is your research. I did a bit of research. It's really yeah. hard to find actually what hops are in this. Well, it's hard to find unless you scroll down like five spaces on Google. If I remember correctly, you've got Mosaic, you've got Amarillo, Equinox, and Eldorado. So Eldorado is the one where I always get like the fruit salad, the fruit salad costume man kicking me in the chops. Yeah, yeah, I always get the eagles. Eldorado. So what are we expecting when we have a schnifter of Steady Rolling Man in terms I mean, of taste? for me, something very familiar, but... Yeah, well, we drank a lot of this, haven't we? I mean, I suppose we're getting... Um, Aromatic-wise. Tropical. All day long. Yeah. I mean, this is exactly what you're going to get with these hops and this style of beer, but yeah, it, it's going to be a bit of a cliche to say tropical, but it, yeah, it is that's exactly what the I always find is. it quite difficult to highlight whether or not there's there's pineapple in it. I know I can always get pineapple cubes, but... Oh, definitely pineapple. Grapefruit as well is the other big flavour for me. And it's just got citrus. Yeah, those kind of flavours. Really. See, an interesting one, and I don't... This isn't like necessarily on the, the notes for, for this, but... I get apricot. I get kind of the stone fruit thing. You mad but, man. But there isn't any. But that's, right. that's the thing. I suppose that's also something to mention. A lot of this stuff that's written down when you're reading it, it's completely subjective and someone's basically yeah. just pulled it from thin air. They've they've paid some some what do they call them? Sommeliers to kind of try it and go, oh yeah. It's, it's like it reminds me of the right. old Yes, yeah, it's all right. It reminds me of the old um Jana Lumley think was it Johnny Lumley that used to do the sniffing or oh, was that a different woman no no are you think you're thinking of food and drink you're thinking of Jilly Gould that's the one Jilly Gould she sounds like Johnny Lumley though right well she's blonde currants concentrated pulverized and bunged in the glass not just a flippy floppy flimsy grape juice you have to have backbone in there some sort of rigidity maybe that's where I got it from uh, but yeah I mean they basically take someone who gives their opinions because they're qualified in it Look, you, you and get... they come up with tasting notes but that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone has to but experience the same thing not at all but with this style of beer you're gonna have very similar tasting experience this beer is almost synonymous now with the craft beer scene and uh, and, and for good reason it's a it's an absolute blinder Love it's it. a cracking beer drank so, a lot with what will strata bring to the party let's talk a little bit about what strata is because strata i suppose it's important to know although we're doing this video now it's not a new hop no. by any stretch of the imagination there's beers that's got strata in and have done for years and years yeah do you want to, do you want to pull that out i'll no. get that going yeah we'll, we'll go through what it is so strata was actually created in oregon in the states and it was created
created is a collaboration by a company called Indie Hops, a hop manufacturer, and the Oregon State University, who had a breeding program. So they created Strata, or what became known as Strata. So at the time, it would have probably been called one of these ridiculous H B C H B C five zero six Q. It basically Elon Musk's child's yeah. name, <laughs> um, and then. Uh, it became commercially available in 2018 and breweries started uh, using it. So essentially, this is the same beer, same hops, but they've thrown in a load of strata, strata on the hot side, yep. which means they do that in the boil. Yeah, they boil in the kettle. So when you when you boil hops or you kettle hops, you're doing that for bitterness. And also they put strata on the cold side, so that's everything after the boil but they do specifically the dry hop with this. So dry hopping, so if you don't know, is used for adding hops to get aroma and a bit more flavor as well. So, you know, it's it's like uber, uber hoppiness. Mm. I think pretty much everyone does it nowadays, really. Yeah, I mean, it's so done that the double dry hopping and triple dry hopping are things. So. <laughs> It'll circle back round now to no hops soon. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What you should be getting according to the taste notes on Strata is you should be getting strawberry, grapefruit, passion fruit, and a little bit of cannabis. I've seen bubblegum, funnily enough. I, think, I can see that. Here, you kind of do get that, I think, a little bit. I think that maybe adds to that sort of mouthfeel. Yeah, it's kind of like hubba bubba, like strawberry. <laughs> maybe that's what it is, the strawberry and bubblegum. Because you know you can get strawberry bubblegum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's maybe where that's kind of merging of flavours. It's a good shout, yeah. Could be it. And funnily I've enough, I've solved it. Nailed it. You've solved hops. <laughs> um, when you smell the original Steady, <coughs> the OG Steady Rolling Man, it does that smell much more grapefruity? Yeah, more citrus. I'm, I'm getting tons and tons of pineapple and grapefruit. There, yeah. Not sure whether it's not sure whether it's necessarily grapefruit, but definitely way more citrus. Um, yeah, I think it's. It's quite a, a sour fruit smell coming through in, in, in a really great way. Um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. I mean, it's definitely, they're definitely two different beers. Like you can tell the Strata does throw in something to the mix. Yeah. If only for me, it's something a bit more, a bit creamier. And yeah, you do have that strawberry bubblegum kind yeah. of element thrown in there as well. Less on the stone fruity apricot. I suppose it's also worth mentioning at the moment because we need to get this video out quick time. This is only a limited release. Yes. So if anyone out there is a Steady Rolling Man fan and wants to try doing this themselves and comparing. It's then already out as we speak. It's already out. Go and grab yourself some cans off your favorite website or go to your independent bottle shop. Um, but there is also a dipper version of this coming. There is a dipper, yeah. Or, the, the, or there is. At yeah. the time of recording this, I'm not too sure when, um, but it's very, very soon, so hopefully when this is out, we have already hit the shelves. But yeah, I'll be excited. Another dipper. Oh yeah. So there we go, guys. Hope you found this video moderately useful. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks, man. We should sell these. Mm. Coming soon. <laughs>